My 2025 is finally here. In my 2025, there's quite a few new features and updates to existing tools. From what I gathered, the new update to the GPU renderer in Arnold is much faster and responsive. A new USD update, LookDevX update, Bifrost and Substance as well. Also, Bonus Tools is now included in the base install of Maya without the user having to separately download and install the bonus tools themselves. In this video, I mainly want to talk about the new modeling tools inside Maya 2025. So without further ado, let's dive in. First up, we have the new and improved Smart Extrude tool in Maya. It was originally introduced in 3ds Max 2021 and also in Blender called the Non-Manifold Extrude. The nice thing about this tool is it allows the user to extrude faces inwards, carving into other existing faces. It can cut through and stitch together in one single operation. It eliminates the need to repair and manual manually fix hidden faces, double faces, and un unwelded areas. You can find this new tool in the monitoring shell and also the shift right mouse button marking menu. There are a few settings to the pivot orientation, similar to the move tool, whereas you can set it to object orientation world orientation or the component orientation where it takes the face normals and align it to the face. Here we have a comparison between the old extrude and the new smart extrude. So in the left we have the old ver version where you select faces and extrude them inwards. It will create these double faces where you have to delete them manually afterwards. Whereas in the new version on the right side, you just have to select the faces, activate the Smart Extrude, and extrude them inwards, it will automatically delete the double faces and stitch the boundary edges for you. Next up we have the Bevel Filter Attributes, which in my opinion is a vast improvement to the original Bevel. It allows the user to filter edges for the bevel input in several ways. The three different filters are selected edges, hard edges, and edges by angle. For selected edges, it takes whatever user selected and just bevels those edges. As for the hard edge, it will take all the hard edges of the mesh and bevel those edges only, ignoring the soft edges. And finally, we have the edges by angle where it takes the user defined angle and specifically targets those edges only. This bevel filter feature has been asked by a lot of users over the years, and I'm just glad that they finally put it in. The Maya developers has also included an update to the bevel input for Boolean intersections, where it automatically select the intersection edges of two Boolean objects and bevel only those edges. The nice thing about this is it automatically updates when you move the Boolean operators. Last but not least, we have the extrude edge improvement where it will now automatically create UVs for the new faces. The new UVs will be offset to the original UVs in UV space, which will save users a lot of time cleaning up after extruding. These amazing new features has certainly expanded Maya's procedural modeling workflow, improving the overall modeling experience. 
Let me know in the comment section what you think about the new features, which one's most interesting and most useful for you. Thank you for watching.